Ed Shoemaker, Shoemaker Guitar Works. How's it going? So I got a pretty cool guitar here. It's a, I think, 82 or 83. I'm uh, not sure uh, by the serial number what year it is. Epiphone, uh, it's a Joe Pass guitar. Uh, and it's got your typical hollow body kind of rattle to it. Uh, all these things have uh, well, almost like a buzzing noise when you uh, when you play. Sometimes it comes from the the pick guard, which obviously you can hear something from that. But it's not. Excuse me. It's not that because I took the pick guard off and it still does it. So I've got a pretty good idea what it is. It's just chasing problems. It's not the tailpiece. I've wrapped the tailpiece with a, a towel and it still makes that noise. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to hear it on camera or not, but it's not frets, but you can definitely hear a hear a rattle. Um, it's more of a vibration than a rattle, but I've got somewhere up here on my bench, I've got uh, some shrink wrap and I'm pretty sure it is the springs on the pickups. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the pick guard off and then I'm going to pop the pickups out and put uh, shrink wrap, heat shrink on the uh, springs and see if that cures the problem. I've read up quite a bit on these and I've ran into this with other guitars and it does, you cannot hear it when you're playing the guitar at all through the amp. Uh, but when you're playing it acoustically, you can definitely hear it. And so what I've read on different forums and uh, uh, things about the Epiphones and other hollow bodies is that they, the, the pickup springs like to rattle because these things are set up so high. Um, but man, this is a really nice guitar. Uh, it's got great sound and pickups. They're, they're mellow when you want them to be and crazy when you want them to be. But this thing is so original, like it's untouched. There's, it's got the, the rubber covers over the backs of the pots and uh, the back of the switch and everything. So it's never really been messed with. Uh, the guy, that has it has had it for years and is just getting back into playing and uh i did uh set the truss rod and everything so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take the strings off because i have to change the strings anyway and i am going to take the pick guard off and then pop these pickups out and see what i've got going so i will bring you back at that point all right so i've got the pickups off or i mean the pick guard off and the strings off the bridge and the tailpiece. One thing I noticed is the tailpiece is flopping, which I did not notice that before. So I'm going to start by screwing these screws down tighter that hold the tailpiece in and the strap button screw. Now that is solid and doesn't move, no rattling. So I'm gonna move on and take each pickup out and just check it and see if this is the problem. I've already checked the pots because that was one of the things that uh, everybody said to check. And the pots are good. They're nice and tight, not moving. Wow, this pickup stuck in the hole. Huh, there we go. Okay, well, it's not the spring, at least on this one, because they've got, uh, piece of foam inside the spring 
So that eliminates that one. Now, that's not saying it's not the other one. Let's check. So obviously somebody's been in here and done this. And this customer's owned this guitar since the 80s. And he said this has always been a thing with this guitar. So if I can chase it down and fix the problem, that's, that's awesome. This one definitely had something in it because there was something on the screws. At least one of the screws. All right, yeah, this one's got foam in the pickup screws also. So that is not the problem. I'm thinking that it was the tailpiece that is the problem. So we can get everything lined back up. And like I say, I've already checked the pots. All that stuff is all nice and tight. So I know it's not that. These are super awesome guitars. The, uh, the pickups are styled after the 61 uh, humbuckers, the Joe this guitar originally came out in uh, 61 and Joe Pass started playing them. If you don't know who Joe Pass is, Google it. And he's a jazz player, player. Very good one at that. All right, so. I still hear it's not a brace. Braces are nice and tight. So I'm not a hundred times sure, but it's process of elimination, you know? Um, so while I've got the strings and everything off, I'm gonna go ahead and clean it up. I'm gonna do a little polishing to the frets and uh, clean and oil the fretboard, and I will bring you back when we're putting strings on it. The problem the customer's been chasing for years, I think I just happened to fix just by tightening those two screws. So it was nothing in the pickups. And those had already been, the springs had already been filled as I showed you. Uh, so let's check this out. So aside from putting the pit guard back on and uh, doing a little tweak to the truss rod, I'm going to call this one good. Um, you know, sometimes it's just process of elimination to try and figure it out. It's the action on it's really, really low. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to raise it up just a hair because it's getting a little bit of fret buzz now. Uh, it had 10s on it. I put 10s back on it, but... So 
So, uh, just raise that up just a hair, and I think that took away my fret buzz. I don't know. We'll, uh, I'll plug it in and I'll find out. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. And I hope you learned a little bit of something today. I know uh, I did on this guitar. You know, like I say, it's about process of elimination. These older guitars, I mean, this guitar's had this problem since it was new, since he bought it. So uh, he bought it in like 83, I think, and it's an 82. It's an 80, yeah. So uh, he bought it when it was like a year old. And so, you know, I've done my part to try and uh, try and solve that problem. And I'm pretty sure that the loose tail piece was the problem. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day and hit that like and subscribe. I want to give a shout out to our sponsor, Allied Barber Supply. Before I started using Allied stuff, my wife hated my beard. She would always complain about it being prickly and itchy and whatever. Now she loves it because it's soft, it's smooth, and it smells good too. All of his products are handmade right here in Davenport, Iowa. Check them out, Allied Barber Supply, 1513 Harrison Street, Davenport, Iowa.